Okay, I'm going to show you how to draw the sheet layout, which includes the border and the title block. First thing I'll do is go to the rectangle tool on the Draw Tools tool panel. Click. I'll specify my first point anywhere on my screen. The command line will ask for the other corner point, and I'm going to use the relative input method by using the at sign, and then I'm going to type my 10 and a quarter, 10.25 in X, comma, 8 inches in Y. I'll center it up on my screen. And then the next thing that I'll do is I will go and draw a line. I'm going to snap this line from endpoint to endpoint at the very bottom. Hit enter. And I don't like to draw lines over top of the line, so I immediately I'm going to go to the Move tool, and I'm going to move it out of the way. So move it up. Make sure my ortho is turned on. F8 is a shortcut to turn ortho on. Or you could go down on your Function toolbar and click it and make sure it's on. All right, so I'm going to type my distance for this title block. The title block height is 3 eighths of an inch or 0.375 in decimal. Now I need to draw vertical lines to represent my boxes for my title block. So vertical line, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to snap from this point to this point. And then I'm going to move this line off of there. I'm going to move it to the left one inch and hit enter. I'm going to go to the copy command. I'm going to copy the rest of these lines. I copy it over one inch, and then I need an additional inch. But if you notice, the uh, it's highlighted here in blue, so the reference point is still from the original location. So I'm going to have to add one inch. I'm going to type two inches, hit enter, and I need another box. So I'm going to type three inches. I'm going to add another inch and hit enter. Okay. When I'm done, I'll escape out of that copy command. And those are my four boxes on the right-hand side that are spaced out one inch. Now I need another vertical line here, but notice how the reference is from the left side. So I'm going to draw another little vertical line over here that I'm going to move out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and click Move. And I'm going to move that at a distance of 3.5. All right, so now I have all of my boxes that I need for my text in my title block. So I'll do text next. I'm going to use the text tool under Annotations Tool Panel. Go to Text. And this is going to want you to draw a box. So what, what And I do have boxes down here. So I'm going to click, snap to the lower left corner. And then I'm going to snap in the upper right corner of this box. The first thing I want to do is I want to change the height. The height on title block text should be 0 0.125, 0 0.125, and you have to hit enter, okay? Now, uh, make sure your text is TXT. Right now, my font is Arial. I want to search for TXT. I'm going to type T and then scroll down some more and get to TXT font. That's what we want for CAD font. Now, I am going to type drawn by, but I'm going to abbreviate it. So drwn period by colon, and I'm going to put my name, all capital letters. Don't forget, anytime you draft drawings, it should be all capital letters. I'm going to go ahead and move, move this text down. I'm going to move it down by 0.125, which is an eighth of an inch. Now, what that means, if the overall height of this title block is 3 eighths of an inch, then my height of the text is 1 eighth, 0.125. So I should have 1 eighth gap here, since I moved it down, 1 eighth for the text, and then 1 eighth gap at the bottom. That's a total of 3 eighths divisions. Now, I'm going to go ahead and allow you to move this text to the right, and you're going to eye it up in the center of this box. As I've mentioned before, you know, CAD is all about precision, so it's going to be rare for me to just say, go ahead and eye this up to center. So, but I will allow you to do that. All right, 
So I have one spot of text filled out in my title block. Next thing I want to do, instead of just recreating text from scratch, just go ahead and copy this existing text, hit enter, slide it over into the next box. I'll hit escape, double click on it, highlight it, and then just change it. Make We'll make it generic right now. We'll just put title in here because we're going to use this as a template and you'll use it for other drawings in the future. So I'm going to take and move this and center it up just for now. The next thing I'll do once again is I'll go to copy and I'll copy the rest of this text and fill these boxes in. Then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and double click. I don't want to double click that one. I'll double click this one and I'm going to fill in uh, for right now, it's going to be fig number, but we will change this number, the figure number. We'll change it later on as the drawing number requires. Double click this text and we'll change this to scale. And we will discuss all the scales that we will need for the drawings. Double click here, change this to date. And double click here. And I want you to label this as your period. And then I'll go ahead and center that up a little bit better. Okay, so this is our generic text, which a lot of this will get changed as we go through. And this is the sheet layout video. Thanks for watching.